did uh, when you were talking about scanning outdoors with the Matterport Pro 3 camera, do you, do you have vacant lots that you're asked to, to do? Is that come up? We get a lot of requests to do drone shots of vacant lots. And I think that that's very interesting. I think um, also in the pre the pre renovation phase, other properties, we may be able to use the pro three for elevation and for helping us do and I have to test this and I don't know if anybody has done this test yet, but I want to know if the Matterport pro three is comparable to a site survey done by a surveyor that would be going to a residential property to do that kind of you know site survey whatever whatever you call it and also sort of what's the is there a cost analysis that can be done as well yeah so uh uh interesting questions we did a show that sort of kind on this topic with a uh, matterport service provider that uses typically a blk 360 scanner or higher and i i think his conclusion was uh uh, if the client needs to specify the, the level of detail, the LOD, uh -huh. and, and typically he uh, in that discussion about the Matterport Matter Pack, the E57 files, and in doing uh, elevations of properties, uh, he had some angst because he would describe the Pro 3 level of detail, LOD, as I want to say 100. I may have that wrong, but I... Uh, Whatever that language is for a surveyor, they might say, oh, we really need uh, 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 LOD 200, LOD 300, LOD 400. So it probably is asking the client, yeah. uh, what LOD do you require? Yeah. Uh, because I, I'm going to guess that Matterport service providers using a Matterport Pro 3 camera are not going to replace people whose title are surveyor that show up with a 40, 50, 60, $80,000 LIDAR scanner. So You'd be surprised though, because you don't know. I mean, for some people, the lower LOD is enough to do the sketches and, but yeah, I mean, I, I wonder. Uh, point yeah. taken. So if, you know, if you can, if you can bring out a laser measure with you and take some, you know, uh, points from A to B and be able to, uh, I don't know what the term would be, uh, uh, scale the model property properly to so to say if you, you know if you if you did a very yeah. large space and the pro 3 camera is off by x number of inches or feet even then you could scale back the model by taking some critical measurements uh in, in order to get it to, to a level of scale that would might be necessary for doing those elevations yeah that's such a good question and i feel like there was definitely on the on the forums that i was i was reading on this particular topic there were definitely more there was more angst than there was relief uh, yeah it, it's an interesting thing to be able to say uh you know to your point sometimes less data is actually better and if you use a 40 50 eighty thousand dollar scanner and you're creating uh a, a, a lot of data a lot of point cloud a lot of mesh the overhead the processing the ex importing exporting moving data around just may be unnecessary yeah uh, you're going to put I a picture frame up on the wall, you may just need a, a, a hammer and a nail rather than a, a motorized uh, uh, nail hammer thing that you might use on putting the roof uh, on a house. So may, maybe the Pro 3 uh, is, I, I guess I would probably say it's probably up to the client is for the client to be able to specify, uh, well, as long as you have level of detail of 100, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And if, the, if Matterport says Matterport Pro 3, is a level of detail of 100, then you're probably okay. Um, but that, that that's probably a really interesting question. I don't know if we'd get that resolved today is can you use a Matterport Pro 3 camera to do outdoor elevations? Uh, and uh, that's, that's a good question. It may be sufficient for the architect who needs to reimagine what that existing space looks like and doesn't necessarily need it to be millimeter accurate. 